enough to you guys how much it means for us when we hear you guys cheering on the third downs, when we're scoring, when we're, everything's going the right way and when everything's going the wrong way. Um, on behalf of the team, like I said, we can't thank you guys enough. Um, we're excited for our homecoming this, uh, this weekend. We're going to get another win, and uh, we're going to be shooting for that bowling game, huh? Thank you, guys. Let me brag on these guys a little bit. They, they're three and one at home. Uh, three and one at home right now, three and three. Won three games at home. And uh, we've got the big homecoming game with South Alabama. Now, these guys are coming off of a, a, a great victory this past Saturday. We have a rule with our team. We we love we we think about it, talk about it, do everything we can about it till about Sunday night. Then we forget about it. We go to the next game, and so we're going now to South Alabama after we've had the chance to celebrate that win. But for these guys beating uh, Liberty, 31 to 28, they were. I don't know if y'all, some of y'all who don't follow all the the football background, but they picked us as a 32 and a half point underdog against Liberty in that football game. And I, I don't I don't gamble or stuff like that, but that's a pretty big lead. In fact, when we beat them 31 to 28, it was a great it was the biggest victory in college football since 2012 over a, over, a, over a line that large. And it was one of the top 5 since 2020 because they can say you're an underdog and you don't have a chance and you go out and win the game. But we got to put that one behind us now because we are now saying that Liberty can get their revenge in seven days if we think about that game for seven more days and are not ready to play in our homecoming game. But what's very important right now, and I'm, I'm so thankful to the city of Monroe for organizing this event, for the cheerleaders and for the band and all of us students that are here, the players that are here, how important it is that we all come together. If we're going to pull this thing off, and we're going to make this program a great program. And we're going to have success. And we're going to sustain success. We've got to believe in all parts of our team. You can't have a great football team without having a great football town. we got to have a great college football town that loves their local college football team. Now, I've been fortunate. I have coached in the city of Auburn. I've coached in the city of Clemson. I've coached... Uh, in the city of Tallahassee, I've coached in some pretty good college towns. We got all that it takes. We've got the people, we got the college football team, we got the love of our university, we've got a beautiful place. Now let's all pull together, let's all be at that game, let's show this Dagum South Alabama group what it means to come to Monroe, Louisiana to play football. <laughs> Sports fans, Bancorp South knows no matter where you are in life, there's nothing quite like game day. That's why we're committed to making your experience a little bit better. Our financial experts are here to give you the assist, so you're always ready to make life's next big play. Bancorp South is right where you are, and proud to be part of your team. Ooh, nachos! See you on game day. Fellas, uh, let's get ready for this week. Let's get ready. Uh, 
for this week and, uh, and the preparation for this week. And uh, great, great opportunity for us. Like we said, the last game, like y'all said, uh, or I heard y'all say that, uh, as well as uh, coaches have said, that uh, Liberty's behind us. And the only thing it can do from now forward is probably to hurt us, is to get us, because then people continue. I've had to do press conferences all the way up to the day, and I'll have to know tomorrow, and all they're going to want to talk about is Liberty. I have to do that. We can't do that as a team. We, have, we, we focus ahead of us and, and, and uh, get ready for this game. Uh, and we got homecoming. It's a big week for us, uh, and, and, it, and it is a special time for for our school and for many of our families and many for our alumni and all those. For you, it's a it's a it's a work week. And it's a grind. We don't get to celebrate as much as others quite often. But we got a great opportunity for us. It's a football game. We got a great opportunity for us coming in this week. And they are picking us as a two touchdown underdog. I don't know what that means, but there's a lot of people out there that still think y'all ain't as good as that team. That, I mean, that, that, that still to me means they don't think you're, whatever it was that we did and we would knock somebody's ass off, that's still what people write about us. And then I, and I jumped on CBS Sports Line, what, what do they still say about us after that? That next one. The uh, well, first one. Bottom 25, we rank what? 23. In their little list of the lousiest 25 teams. I, I don't, I, that makes me sick. I, I, we, ain't, we, we, we still got some proving to do, don't we? That's their little list of what they think. And, that's, and, and so, men, we got work to do. We get around this school sometimes and people pat us on the back so much, we think we're there. We're getting there, but it's about what we do today, by what we do today, men. And that comes from hard work, and that comes from today's practice. It does me little good to give you these kind of pump you up things on Friday that, hey, they, we need respect. Because it's all about respect a little bit. I, I, it was a great win. You played, you kicked their ass, you won. And this is what they still, we ain't, we, we ain't showed a lot of people out there yet where we are. And, 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 and we got some proving to do. We got some proving to do. You created an expectation, men, that I hope you understand that's what you want. You want people that say, that's our team. You want people to say, hey, you guys got this, but you guys can beat anybody. Well, you, you shoot, I'm, I'm getting my, my, my dead December ready to save it for the bowl game. That's what you want them to think. And y'all created that. Man. But we ain't even close, as you know, to where we need to be for things like that for us. We, we, all we are is we, we are grinding, and we, and, and we take an opportunity. We had a great win that puts you in this position today to make this one even more important. And so all, that, all those accolades and all those things are nice. And, buddy, if you're going to be successful, let's do you got to learn how to handle it. And so all week I've been trying to let's learn how to handle it. And that the fact that we've got to go out there now, we've got an expectation we're supposed to have the best crowd they've had in a long time. Homecoming game with people here. Uh, and this is a big, this is kind of your, your big news. And your big news. And, and, and you know that we've got to see them coming here that they are having their, their new coaching staff, new coach, head coach. They've had a good start, better than us. They're four and two. And they, and they, and they now not only... Do they circle us as a W because they're favored and they, and they feel like they're better, but you now show them what you can do when you play as a team. Tomorrow. We need a great practice tomorrow. I go in, I need the best version of you tomorrow. Every little bit you got, we need it. Because I don't want to lose. You want to lose? No, no, sir. Hell no. So we got to lock in. We got to be better. Study, come in, come find me, ask me a question. Do the work. Do the work. About it now. And I'm getting mad. And I'm gonna stay mad because you got too much going for you for us to mess it up. There's probably a little bit of this for everyone and a little of this for everybody. But right now, we need our OL to step it up. We need our OL to step it up. We need guys to take charge. I don't care who starts, and I ain't gonna play somebody that can't practice ever. For 25 years, Catherine and I have had the privilege of representing clients that work and live in the place we call home. We are proud to be your local injury attorneys, providing our clients with compassion and experience. So if you've been injured in an accident, you need someone fighting locally for you. We fight to get you paid for your injuries, pain, and suffering. Insurance companies fight hard to protect their bottom line, so you need someone right next door 
fighting even harder for you. Don't call an out-of-town attorney. Call Creed and Creed today. 387-5800. Andrew Henry in the backfield with Rodgers. It's Henry on the carry. Puts a little move on. Has the first down across that line to gain at the 35. That under... Offensive coordinator Rich Rodriguez fake on the toss. Rodgers escapes one man. He's got the first down across midfield and tracked down in South Alabama territory. Warhawks quickly back to the line. Rodgers goes right. Pulled in by Boogie Knight. That's a 30 and down to the 27 yard line. What a play. He is number one on the SC top 10 a week ago. Rodgers gives to Henry. He's got the first down. He's got more. Andrew Henry, touchdown ULM. Warhawks score on the opening possession of the game. The third rushing touchdown of the season for Henry as the Warhawks go up six to nothing. And 10 for South Alabama from the 43. 11 minutes left here in the first quarter. Seven nothing ULM, a fumble on the catch by Tolbert. Quickly covered up by the Warhawks and Mark Williams. The first turnover of the night. This is a ball hawking ULM squad. And eight, Bentley, the five man rush. Over the middle, and it's intercepted. Picked off by ULM, and wanting to make a big move, Kilo Sweeney loses his balance and falls down with the 50. Sure, it's second down and three. Rogers slings it out, finds Boogie Knight. Knight tries to slip through, cut from behind up to the 29-yard line. And ULM down to the South Alabama 29, swing it out for Henry. Paused for a moment, now cuts it back. Henry at the 20. Gets another block, then runs out of room down to the 12-yard line. South Alabama shows blitz. They'll bring pressure. Rodgers over the middle. He's got his man. Touchdown, ULM. It's Jared Sparks with the touchdown. And ULM takes the lead again, 13-7. Long second and 15 for ULM. Rodgers over the middle and making the catch right at the first down sticks is Jevin Frett. They'll give him an extra yard past the marker to the 48. Rodgers. Myers has a man. It's caught at the 35-yard line. And out of bounds, Will Derrick down to the 33. 16 more, first and 10 ULM. Yeah, this is when Rodgers is dangerous. Roll out, feels comfortable, hits him right on the money right there. South Alabama with the blitz. They instead send Henry bounces, or rather, this is Isaiah Phillips who bounces off the first man, bounces off another tackle. Kaiser grabs him at the 24. It's just close to a first down. See, Boyd is quickly covered up by Luter. The field goal, this one from 39 yards. And no problem there for Callum Sutherland. ULM back up by seven, 17-10. South Alabama brings the pressure. Rodgers rolls, fires, and has the first down with Boogie Knight. Out to the 46. Gain of 16 in the six-yard line. Rodgers with a play fake. Downfield, he's got Sparks. Jared Sparks muscles his way to the 34-yard line. First and 10. Timeouts. Two receivers each way. Rodgers. Looking to throw a little shoulder fake, comes back to the edge, has Jackson, a first down, out of Rogers bounds to the 21. The receivers for Rodgers. Four-man rush, it's Boogie Knight in the middle. Knight has a first down as he gets across the line to gain first and goal down to the nine, 14 seconds. Got the kicker. Rodgers looking to throw, goes over the middle, has a man, it's Boogie Knight, touchdown ULM. The first career receiving touchdown for Boogie Knight. And ULM takes a six-point lead just shy of halftime, 23-17. Yeah, the workhorse on uh, on ULM's uh, receiving squad He's finally gets, gets himself one right here. Wide open, beats the safety deep. Touchdown. Woo! Hi, folks, this is Reagan at Inks Firestone. Do we have some good deals for you? Brakes, $25. Tune-ups, $49.95. CD axles, $49.95. And front-end alignments for $69.95. So come to Inks Firestone for the best tire prices in town. Woo! Two touchdowns out of the locker room. The surge in front. Rodgers will give it to Malik Jackson. Jackson's got some space. Cuts back, tripped up, regains the balance and brought down across the South Alabama 40 all the way down to the 37 yard line. One right for Rodgers. ULM trying to answer. Henry 
Henry working his way through traffic down to the 29 yard line. Eight more, second and two for the Warhawks and 10 for ULM from the Jag 26. Rogers take off and run, trying to find some space. Brought down by Quentin Wilfon up to the 21. Rogers play fake, goes downfield. It's pulled down by Fred Lloyd. Touchdown ULM. Lloyd comes down with the score, his first receiving touchdown of his career. And ULM an extra point away from tying it up, 31-30. And that was a good play. Once again, a little play action on him. Gets inside, makes a great grab right there. Touchdown. Rest on them that their linebackers are filling those gaps as fast as possible. First and 10, South Alabama. Avery, who has a career high tonight with 88 yards before that carry, and he will lose a couple. One to five. Bentley gets him lined up for third and two. Bentley rolls. Throws, it's caught and then stopped. Those whistles came awfully from the 19. Rogers sets up, throws downfield as will. Derek who pulls it into the 50. Derek in some space, gets a block. Derek to the house. Touchdown, ULM. Will Derrick with an 81-yard touchdown pass from Chandler Rogers, and the Warhawks go back on top. Oh, he was scooting. He was scooting. Will Derrick pulls it in, and the night of first continue. It's Derrick's first career touchdown, following up Jared Sparks, Boogie Knight, and Fred Lloyd. Great ball, great catch over the shoulder right there. It's not an easy catch to grab. And then he just winds it. Bentley goes for the deep ball, looking for Tolbert again. Newton bats it away, incomplete. And brings up second down. Bentley, the play fake. Now steps up, meets Ty Shelby. And down he goes, another sack for the Warhawk defense. All the way back at the 16, it's a loss of 10. And they were feeling the pressure right there. They were trying to do a slide protection, and it kind of broke down. He ran directly into Ty Shelby. Big guy right there. I don't think anyone wants to run directly into Ty Shelby. Ty Shelby uh, by ULM's offensive line. Third down and six. Rodgers hits Jackson for a first down out to the 41. Zach Jackson moves the sticks, ULM. Rodgers goes deep, and it's pulled in by Fret for a first down all the way down to the South Alabama 29. Warhawks with a big completion, and ULM gets 23 on the play, first and 10 to the 29. Great right there. Once again, he gets it right over the linebacker, as you can see, and it drops right in there. South Alabama brings four. To the outside, Derek with the catch, but a great open field tackle by. The snap, the hold, the kick by Sutherland on its way and right on through. The reigning Sunbelt Conference Special Teams Player of the Week does it again. He hits from 40, and the Warhawks take the lead to two possessions. 41 31, midway through the fourth. End of the 26. So we click under three minutes. Bentley. Pressure up the middle and down he goes. A huge sack for the Warhawk defense. Quay Drake gets free up the middle. And that's a drive killer right there. That's the last thing you need if you're South Alabama right now. Just see him right here, just come right up the middle, slam him down. And not only does it, does it do that, but the clock from 39, the kick on its way. And it is no good. Wide to the left. And ULM gets it back up by two possessions. What's going on? Looking to throw. Bentley steps up. Pumps. Goes over the middle. And it's intercepted by Nick Roberts for ULM. And he'll slide down. That will seal a Warhawk victory. 
The UL Dodgers will go under center in victory formation. Takes the knee. That does it. Terry Bowden and his club go two and one on a three game homestand. They're back to 500 in Sun Belt play. And they're above 500 on the season again. Four and three as he meets Kane Womack at midfield for the first time. The two first year coaches with their respective programs. South Alabama drops to four and three, one and three in the Sun Belt Conference. Hey Louisiana, do you want a great deal? Talk to Jim Taylor, we can make it real. Save big money on a car or truck. Friendly service, folks you can trust. We put good people behind the wheel. Jim Taylor Auto Group making it real. Hey Louisiana, do you want a great deal? Talk to Jim Taylor. We can make it real in a Chevy, Ford, Buick, GMC. That's not how that song goes. It is now. Come experience what we're all about at Jim Taylor Auto Group. Yeah, I'm just, this, this team continues to, uh, and I, I guess amaze me uh, in their resilience, their, their ability to, to continue to believe uh, in themselves. Uh, being an underdog is really does, it's, it's a non, 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 it's a non factor. Uh, but we believe, we play, play well. I, too many heroes for me to name them all. I think this is the first game where we would have to say the offense went out there and outscored them. No matter what they did and put on the board, and they put some points on the board, uh, we, we didn't get many turnovers in our side of the field, and we drove the length of the field over and over again uh, and put the points on the board uh, that we needed to win the game. But it was a de defense got turnover after turnover, uh, and, um, uh, and it was just a good team effort. Field goals, all those things we had to do, uh, we had, I would say that we were able to win every area of that of the game. The biggest thing is we have a lot of guys that are new to the pro, new to the offense. Uh, receivers, two of our four receivers are new to the offense. Well, everybody's new to Coach Rodriguez's offense. Even the, but the, but some of our guys had spring football. But but we have a quarterback that's new to the offense who came in in July and and joined our our team. Uh, a lot of players. So I think as we begin to understand how to play our, uh, how to run our offense, fast, tempo. If you'll go back to my, my press conferences after early games, it was all about first downs. We could not make any yards on first downs. And because of that, your entire second and third down play calling is ineffective because there's not many good choices. I think what's happened now is we began to become, understand our offense more and we're very we're productive on first down. And that opens that up and of course, uh, uh, Chandler uh, Rogers, our quarterback, is beginning to understand what's required from this offense, and I think I think maybe we all kind of underestimated his throwing ability. We thought he could run and throw, but he's really he's he's really listened and, and been uh, and been very coachable. Uh, and he's become very very uh, uh, good at, at, at. I don't even know what his throwing percentage was. I think it was really good today. Seventy one percent. Seventy one percent, and there were downfield throws. We had some huge downfield throws. We weren't just throwing a lot of bubble screens and hitches. And so it was a pretty impressive night. The Sabres caught the ball very, very well. And uh, and then we, we sacked their quarterback at the end of the game. So I think offensively, we're beginning to understand what the offense requires. And uh, and everybody has to be has to do their part. We've kind of known that Will could make plays like that. He's, he's starting to make more plays. He gives Boogie a rest or he plays or sparks a rest. We've got some good slot receivers. He's got deceptive speed. So when he catches the ball in full stride, that ball hit him in full stride. And so he, and he's been catching a lot of speed outs uh, and runs those very, he's got great hands. And, uh, and so uh, um, I was just great to see him make that play. For you know, um, tonight was a very great night for us offensively. We started fast, we played well. Uh, we, we kept the tempo up on them. We knew that they haven't faced a lot of teams who play a high tempo offense. And we knew that that would be our edge against them. Um, I believe that we started clicking and growing together as an offense at the second half against Liberty. And we, once that clicked, we understood what we needed to do. Because um, Rich Rod demands excellence. He wants perfection. 
Um, he's very hard on us, and especially me as a quarterback, because I have to know everything. I have to know the checks. I have the responsibility of leading the offense. But at the same time, he ensures that what he calls, I am able to, am, I am able to run at a high level. And he wants me to play with confidence, and I did that tonight. Definitely uh, film study with Coach Rodriguez and on my own time, just that growth, um, maturing, um, and just recognizing coverages, knowing where to attack them. Um, also, just with reps, uh, you just see things faster. You think the game slows down when you get more reps, and it's just the growth part of it and everything it just all come together. Well, at halftime, we stressed that, you know, we need to get the offense some momentum. Uh, you know, they, they've been driving down, scoring every time. So as a defense, we thought, you know, we, we need to get them uh, get them on the field more, pull up the uh, score more. So we stressed getting turnovers, getting off the ball, getting off the rock, trying to disrupt the quarterback as much as possible. And that's what we did. It's a blessing, and it's also phenomenal. Um, you know, what we went through last year, and, you know, we battled through a lot of um, guys leaving, COVID. But this year, we have a lot of things going for us. The, the win against Liberty really showed how much we improved from last year. That, um, you know, we're not the same team as the year before. And we just try to keep stacking days on top of days. Uh, Liberty was a great win, and then we tried to get that out of our mind as quickly as possible. You know, guys patting us on the back, you know, community really coming together. But at the end of the day, it's always the next guy right in front of us. And so this win against South Alabama is huge. Now we just got to focus on the next one. We're just going to enjoy today, but, you know, time to focus on the next opponent. Hey, man. You know, it's not a great win, great win, but what you become is a team that refuses to lose. You're as good. Yeah. Somebody has to step up that somebody steps up. Offense, deep offense, great job. Let's do it now. Defense, you just turn that ball, you just turn it over again, again, again. You don't get anybody to do that. Yes, sir.